Hello, this is Dr. Imran. I'm going to present to you the lecture one of the course Electrical Engineering Fundamentals. In today's lecture, we will describe about some objectives of this course and about the course outline of this course. This is my research get profile and this is my email address. Let's discuss about the objectives of this course. Through this course, students will master the basic theoretical knowledge and experimental skills regarding the electrical engineering. In order to achieve objective one, we apply circuit theory to the analysis and design of basic DC and AC electrical circuits. To achieve objective two, we recognize and correctly apply electric and magnetic field theory to simple applications. To get objective 3, we clarify the energy relationship in transformer and the use of analysis methods such as the use of equivalent circuits, basic equation and phase diagram to get the ability to analyze the characteristics and the understanding of a transformer. So let's uh, discuss about uh, the course outline of this course in detail. We take a start from the basic components of the electric circuits such as charge, current, voltage and power and the uh, voltage and current sources. And then we uh, discuss about the Ohm's law. We then discuss about the voltage and current laws we will have some knowledge about nodes, path, loops and branches first and then we apply the Kirchhoff current law and Kirchhoff voltage laws to these uh, loops and branches. We then move towards the single loop circuit, the single node pair circuit, the series and parallel connected sources, resistors in series and parallel, the voltage and current division. We then move towards the basic analysis methods and techniques such as the nodal analysis method, the super node method, the mesh analysis method, the super mesh method, the linearity and superposition theorems, the source transformations, the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits, the maximum power transfer theorems and the delta y conversion. We then move towards the capacitors and inductors topic of this course. We discuss about the introduction of the capacitors and inductors and the properties of the capacitors and inductors such as inductance and capacitance and their combinations. We then move towards the RL and RC circuits, the source-free RL circuits, the source-free RC circuits, the driven RL circuits, the natural and forced response, the driven RC circuits. We then move towards the series combination of the RL and C circuits, the source-free parallel circuits, the critical damping, the underdamped parallel RLC circuits, the source free series RLC circuits, the complete response of the RLC circuits, the lossless LC circuit. Sinusoidal steady state analysis is a very important part of this course. We take a start from the characteristics of sinusoids, the forced response to sinusoidal functions, the complex forcing function, the phasor, the impedance and admittance, the nodal and mesh analysis method superposition, source transformations and the Benin theorem and the phasor diagrams. Power analysis is also um, an important part of this course. First we take a start from instantaneous power, the average power, the effective values of current and voltage, the apparent power and power factor and the complex power. Magnetism and electromagnetism is also a very important part of this course. We take a start from absolute and relative permeability of a medium, the magnetic induction, the flux and its distribution, field intensity and field strength, the production of magnetic, the production of magnetic induction by a current, the Laplace law, the magnetic circuits, the comparison of the electric and magnetic circuits the electromagnetic induction and, and the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. We then move towards the three-phase system, relationship between line and phase voltage, delta connected system with balanced load, power and balanced three-phase load, 
measurement of power in a three phase uh, three wire system and the power factor measurement introduction to electrical machinery is also an important part of this course but uh, we uh, restrict ourselves just to the introduction of the electrical machine but not in a detail we take a start from the electrical machine such as transformer the classification of the electrical machines the basic equations of dc machines the operating mode of dc machines transformers the ideal transformer and the efficiency of a transformer thanks for watching this video and have a nice day